Hi everyone, welcome back to Coder and Boots. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the proxy configurations in Nginx. Uh, in the last couple of videos, we have discussed about the installation of Nginx in a Linux machine, uh, then configuring SSL certificate in Nginx, attaching domains in Nginx, then uh, deploying multiple uh, websites in Nginx. So in this session, we are going to discuss about uh, configuring proxy in Nginx. So before getting into the hands-on, uh, so what we will do is uh, we will discuss about some fundamentals of a proxy. So what is what exactly is a, what is a proxy? Okay. So this is what we will discuss first. So basically, what is a proxy? Okay, so proxy in English is what? So uh, you may be familiar with proxy attendance or uh, proxy exams. So basically on behalf of someone, okay? So uh, like someone is, somebody is doing on behalf of someone. So we can say in that way. So there will be an intermediate person who will be doing something on behalf of somebody else. So the, the person who is visible will be someone and the actual, uh, like task will be performed by somebody else so let's take the example okay so person a is an end user okay so let's say like i'm a new uh, an internet user okay so person is a a is going to access a service let's say some service service here Okay, and this service is internally passing it to something else. Okay, we can say task performer. Okay, so for person A, the only person who is visible is service okay so for the person a the only person or the only entity that is visible is service but service is internally passing the task to task performer and task performer is actually the one who is doing the task and returning okay returning the response to service and service will what he will basically respond back to a so for a always the the intermediate or i mean basically the point of contact will be service Similarly, the same thing for task performer, he will not know from where the request come. We, we can configure in that way. So for task performer, so there are multiple ways. Like let's say like, I mean, you are in, you are in a country like uh, maybe uh, you are in uh, Japan and you wanted to access something in uh, America. Okay. So, and let's say the particular website is not allowing uh, users outside US. So what we can do, you can basically connect to a proxy or a VPN uh, within US or a proxy service server within US and access the service from that proxy server. So the request will always go on behalf of that server. Okay. So similarly, the service can again do proxy to multiple people. Okay. So like task performer, this let's say like, I mean, uh, this is task performer A. So like this, we can do somebody else like B. And the service can again do proxy in the same way. Okay. Request response. So in this way, like this is a very, very useful technique that uh, people generally use in internet. So the end, the front facing endpoint will be something. And behind that, there will be multiple people doing the task. Okay. So I'm going to show or explain the configuration of a proxy in Nginx. So this is my EC2 instance. So I have, uh, let me increase the phone size. Okay. So I have already installed Nginx here. So if you see, So 
nginx is up and running here in this machine okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to create a new configuration for my proxy site conf.d i'm going to place a new configuration here so i have already attached a domain to my public ip of ec2 so which is proxy dot okay so i have already attached this domain to my ec2 instances public ip okay so whatever i am configuring here it will be out available outside at this moment in this particular public domain so i'm going to configure i'm going to add a new configuration basically a virtual host here for proxy site okay so i have my configuration handy so i'm going to copy this server section okay so if you see here so let's review the configuration so this is like i mean the the basic configuration so i am not worried about the root directory so maybe i can comment this we can comment this we, we, because we are not going to serve anything from the directory root then server name proxy site dot quadrant boots dot com that's our server site then here this is our main configuration so location slash okay so that means in the root path when any request come to this proxy site dot quadrant boots dot com to the root path i am proxying it to this particular endpoint so what is this endpoint i basically searched in internet for some public apis open apis okay so you can configure it with your own api it could be internal to your network okay so or if you want to proxy it to somebody else you can do that so i'll copy this url and i'll show you how it works okay so so here if i pass this if i open this you see this is some public api okay it's not something of mine this is a public api and if you see the raw data it is responding some json data okay it's it's responding a json data and this is a free public i mean basically a public api so i just wanted to show some api that's why i used this api okay so what we are trying to do is so we will basically this will be my in this case this will be this is service this will be my ec2 instance and this task performer we can say that's a public api so anyone who requests this so for them what they will be hitting proxy site dot quadrant boots dot com but internally what is happening it internally it is going to hit this particular site so this will be useful i'll tell you the use case so this will be useful in cases where you have uh, let's say you have a uh, i mean basically a data center where you have one server which has internet just internet access okay and let's say you have a set of servers behind that server a server b server c server d okay so like b c d and e so these black servers think about this doesn't have internet and you have maybe like i mean separate separate applications here installed okay so what we will do is we can configure proxies for each of these servers okay and we can expose the endpoint through this server you can expose the public facing endpoint through the server server a so always there will be one endpoint one public and public domain and this will the server will route the request to b c d based on the path we configure or the rules that we configure in the nginx okay so let's get into the configuration so now what we are doing is we are doing a proxy pass to this particular url so this could be a local url with this which is in this case in this diagram so you can make it like server b okay or server c
let's evaluate the configuration configuration is successful reload okay so now proxy site.quadrantboots.com let's see what will happen so it's just loading okay it is giving 502 bad gateway let's evaluate the configuration again let's see the logs where log nginx so if you are getting any error always look at the logs okay so you see it's giving error while ssl handshake to upstream server okay so to fix this what we can do is we can just add this proxy SSL server on to this nginx configuration that will solve the problem okay so it depends on like I mean the type of proxy that you configure in this one since I am making a call from HTTP to HTTPS so another thing is below this proxy in this location block itself you can add n number of headers okay so you can configure your custom settings with respect to this particular proxy block okay so with respect to this particular location block you can configure all so basically if you want to configure some buffer so i hope i mean you are aware of buffer so it is basically let's say a client is connecting to a server so in this way what will happen who is the client so anyone who is on the left hand side basically anyone who is on the left hand side is a client client is connecting with to the server through a proxy so this client is very slow so server is very fast so what will happen request came the response from the server came very quickly the sign client is not able to accept it at that speed so what will happen the, the basically proper handshake won't happen so what we can do is we can enable buffer here so like this there are several configurations in nginx which is very useful for web applications and web services okay so uh, so here this is one of the configuration I just enabled SSL uh, server name on okay let's uh, uh, refresh reload the configuration and let's see how it works okay so this is the bad gateway problem so here let's see okay it worked okay it worked if you see the raw data it's coming in JSON you can see the tree structure here nice it worked okay so this is the simple proxy configuration in nginx and i was talking about like the server a server b server c the multiple proxies right so we can try this we can try the server a server b example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create multiple location blocks each for so different different urls so i have already collected couple of urls from internet so basically which are some some open APIs public APIs so assume this is my server B okay and you can configure any path okay any path so it's up to you so I, I am just using a B C okay So this is the third one I have got it so now let's so one important thing is whenever you make any configuration changes to nginx after restarting or reloading the config just do the test hyphen t okay the reason is if there is any syntactical problem syntax errors or anything so if you do a reload or restart the nginx will fail okay so the application will go down if you're doing it in a, on a production system the application will go down okay so instead of before restarting because nginx configuration it is it is picked up only when you start the service okay so in between if you modify it won't impact okay so unless you restart it will still use the old version okay so if you have any errors what will happen is the site will go down so instead what you do is you test it verify there are problems fix it again test it and restart the service okay now reloaded okay 
now let's see what will happen slash a okay so a should basically load the same thing yeah it loaded the same thing and slash b b is loading different service so julius caesar henry something something okay slash c slash c slash c yeah slash c is giving the response for what we have for slash c okay so i hope this example is clear so this is what we have for proxy so like this we can have and we can configure location specific configurations inside the location block okay so inside this block you can configure all those settings okay this is the simple example of proxy i hope this example is clear so thank you thank you very much for watching this video so uh, please subscribe this channel so that you can i'll, I'll be uh, uploading more interesting posts like this so uh, feel free to comment if you have any uh, doubts or questions or anything